What's up? What's up, everybody? It's time for another episode of Summoner's War News. It's like Fuse News, but with less production value and a lot more yelling, especially about things like this. The guild mission event. Oh my god, I love this guild mission event. We got a couple things to talk about today, don't we? Like next two way, a little information on the next two way um, stats for the D12 dungeons, things like that. Next Hall of Heroes is coming up. We got a few things to talk about. Anyway, let's get us started with the guild mission event. Man, you know what I really love from events? Rewards that are based not on what you do, but what all of your guildmates that seem to not ever want to log in or do any guild content, do guild wars, do labyrinth, do any of that. Yeah, I, I, I want my rewards to be based on that and not my actual effort. I want to just sit there crying and be like, I really wish my guildmates did stuff so I could get these mystical scrolls. But they're not doing... Please do labyrinth! Please do labyrinth. You guys, some of you guys feel me. And then the rest of you guys are like... I don't know why he's complaining. I don't want to do that. <laughs> There's a half and half. Half of you guys are like, yeah, I want things to not be based on my guild member's contribution. And the other one's like, yeah, I log in once every three days. <laughs> I know that's me. I know that's me not doing it. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, used energy by all guild members. Uh, number of guild battle gameplays. Ah, for some of us, these are not going to get done. We're not going to get those crystals. We're not going to get those coins. We're not going to get those scrolls. Uh, monsters in siege battle. <laughs> Many, 1,400 monsters? This is the China server uh, guild right now that we are on. Uh, this is not getting done. I can already tell you, maybe the first one will get done. Not joking, maybe the first one. We have a, over a month to do this. We have 34 days left to do this. I can already tell you we are getting maybe the first, maybe the second of this of this thing. Win battles in the labyrinth. We are, won't even be getting the first one. Won't even get, the, I'm sure the main, I'm sure my global server account, everything's going to be completely done. But on uh, some of these alts, man, Maybe the Europe server is usually good, but some of these, some of these other ones are like the Korea server, the China server. I'm like, it's not. None of these are getting done. I already know they're not getting done. Oh man, we're gonna have so many boxes left unopened. Uh, some nice stuff, but I mean, honestly, for half the community, I feel like we're not gonna get it, right? Not gonna get. It. I don't really like these. Uh, Events that are based on participation from other people when you can't do anything about it aside from leave your guild and join something else and then who knows they may not do anything either right because that's that happens to be like the trend of like oh you leave the guild you join another guild they don't do anything they don't start guild wars I don't know if you guys some of you that have just had the same guild for the entire time that you've been playing the game is like oh I haven't had that problem I don't know what he's talking about like you have never experienced that kind of frustration and some people are like Oh yeah, I've experienced that frustration. Anyway, that's the first uh, the first thing to talk about. Second thing, we have a new stones rotation coming up in. You know, we have the new stones rotation now. Just uh, the the stones rotation just bumped over. So three weeks we have Bastet, Brandia. Is anyone really that excited about Brandia? Sabrina, which is a nice one. A lot of people are excited about. And no one's really excited about like. So Bastet. Okay, let me let me start from the left to the right. Bastet. Great. A lot of people are probably excited about Bastet. Uh, Brandia. I don't see anyone like, I'm going to do stones for Brandia. I've never, I don't think I've ever, maybe one person has, has said that ever. Ganymede. I know a lot of people want to do stones for Ganymede, especially if they have Hathor. Like, I really want a Ganymede. Um, or if they have like Chu and Savannah and they're like, I would really love a Ganymede to go with this. Lumerisha. No one really talks about Lumerisha anymore. Now they're going to realize, they, oh, she can solo DB12. Okay. We're gonna talk about Lumberusha. No, don't, please don't. Please. That was a, that, six years ago. That was a, long, a much different world back then. Um, Sabrina, great, great monster, still relevant. Uh, Fire Hat Boy, I mean, what I meant is uh, Jean B, <laughs> the uh, Fire Phantom Thief. Uh, nice unit, not bad. Uh, Xiao Lin, 2 RNG. She's got a random strip, not really relevant. Um, the wind, uh, wind pirate captain, not really too relevant. No one really, what do you, what do you really do with him? Uh, and then a bunch of three stars. The biggest things to note is just like Spectra. Spectra's a nice three star. Spectra. Spectra, <laughs> Spectra's very, very OP three star right about now. So, uh, yep, but I think it's mainly a, this is what I'm saving my Asia server stones for because we have things like, uh, we have Odin, we have, yeah, we have Odin. <laughs> I had to remember which account was. Oh, and it's something else. I don't know, Oberon, things like that. Things we need a basket. We're like Draco and 
Tableau, we're gonna do all that crazy nonsense cleave RTA thing. We just need a basket, right? Megan works, but best is better, right? Anyway, uh, what do we have next? Next two way. Oh my god! So they told me on stream, we were we had a we had a discussion. Oh my god! I'm gonna get into super long discussion. Blah blah blah. Some about Grim Reapers. I was like, I need to summon some Grim Reapers. Everyone thought that the next two way was gonna be Grim Reaper two way based on that. And then they started talking, and then they expounded on that, and they were like, Oh, the next one's gonna be an undead theme. And I'm like, What are you talking about? And I watched literally the whole shift video again to figure out what they were talking about that I missed. They, they, there's no undead, they didn't say anything about the undead theme, but they did say that the new two-way, the next two-way, will be a new dimension. So, uh, yeah, a new, like, not, not added to one of the current dimensions like the, uh, the Griffins were. I think the Griffins were added to the, the bear and the, uh, the, the war bear and the Inugami dimension, right? So it's not going to be like that. It's going to be their own dimension with their own set of whatever. So they actually said this at the end of the shift in the question and answer thing. Uh, so that means that previously we were like, okay, we can take a look at the current dimensions and see what kind of enemies they are. Because it was looking like they were doing the two A's that were correlated to the enemies in the dimensions we currently have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we already discussed that in a previous video. So we were like, okay, well then the Yetis, the Harpoos, the Garudas, the High Elementals are probably going to be very likely to be the next two-way monsters. And I mean, if you think about it, it's obvious, like, obviously they're going to be likely to be the next two-way monsters. Uh, but also based on the fact that those were uh, things that are in the different dungeons that we have now, right? Uh, so if we're getting a whole new dungeon... That's got a whole new theme. I mean, it could it could very well be an undead theme. They were trolling, or not necessarily trolling specifically. I think they were just confused, and then I was confused, and we were all confused. But um, but yeah, there's gonna be a new two-way dungeon with a brand new theme going on before the end of the year. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be an undead theme. You never know. What would you guys like to see in the next uh, two-way dungeon? I mean, it could it could also be like one of these. It's probably not going to be one of these though. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, there's that. Then there is what is this? So obviously this is not from me. This is from Nizra on Reddit. B12 unit stat information. Um, I don't like to grab a whole lot of stuff from Reddit. However, I think that you guys would be. I think that this is important to show people uh, all the stats for B12 dungeons. I will leave a link to this. Again, it's not my stuff. It's from Nizra. Nizra actually posts a lot of good information. I think. Because uh, I think I've seen a couple posts of like uh, educational posts, educational posts um, on Reddit from them, I believe, in the past. So anyway, this is GB12. This is all the stats. This is all the, you guys can see my cursor, right? Magic, the gathering, the arena. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you guys can see all the stats here, all the different speed of the units, all the attack, all the defense, all the resistance. Mid boss 100. Yeah, you mean a thousand resistance. That's what you mean. Um, and then the end giant is 208, 298,000 HP. Fantastic. DB12, same thing, basically. Um, and the big difference here between the other ones is, like, the resistance. Of course, all the stats are much higher, but the speed is higher on, like, the mid waves. Um, which, excuse me, I mentioned in a previous video, and also the resistance is higher for these dungeons than before. So even if we take a look at, like, the resistance, uh, over here, compared to, like, the resistance over... Uh, oh, over here they should be. Even, they're they're less in the in the uh, giants eleven and dragons eleven. They're less in the elevens, less resistance than they are in the uh, in the twelves. So then we see all the dragon B twelve data over here. Again, I'm just gonna fly by this so you guys can see all this if you want. Uh, I will leave a link so you guys can actually see. The resistance is really low on these B. I mean, first off, they're number one, they're B10s for these new dungeons like Steel Fortress here. You see the resistance is really low. I mean, not super crazy, not like 20 resistance, but uh, you see it's significantly lower than the B12 dungeons because the B12 dungeons are, I mean, every dungeon, the higher the level, the more resistance, the more stats just in general. So just a thing to note that the resistance is uh, much lower on the Punisher's Crypt and the Steel Fortress. They don't even need resistance, because you know those vampires don't do the right skills anyway, right? You know those vampires don't do the right skills. Anyway, and then there's uh, B10, uh, B11 stats, which we took a little bit of a look at, and uh, I'll leave links if you guys want to see. Uh, but that's that. Thank you to Nizra for the information for the community in general. Um, so there's that. This one, I don't know where this is from. This was just shared with me. I don't know where it initially was from, 
but this is um, sub properties on the this is this is what they can power up to right this is what they can power up what their default stats are what you can get from every uh, upgrade on the artifacts some of them are really gross bomb damage plus one percent life drain plus one percent like may as well not even have a stat at that point i feel right with the one percent oh my god that's so gross that's so gross there's some that are really cool though uh like for example my favorite ones so far let me know if you guys feel the same way my favorite ones are like the type artifact the skill one two three four crit damage oh for bailiger for lucian I, I like those and then the skill one two three accuracy is kind of nice when I have a unit That's like I only really need accuracy for skill three like Zyros. I only need skill three accuracy I don't care if he lands dots with skill two really couldn't be bothered uh, I don't care about his accuracy for skill one on Zyros because it doesn't do anything so uh, I think Zyros I'm like would kind of like a extra crit damage on uh, Well all the skills for Zyros, but extra accuracy. I only really care about the skill three. So that's kind of nice uh, for that and some other things where you only need accuracy for like one skill not necessarily everything right so anyway uh, Again, I would love to credit like say oh this is from blah 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 But I don't know where exactly it's from but if you guys know in the comments you can leave them in the comments below Another one. Oh, we got to do some drama you guys ready for drama. Okay. I don't know if some of you may know uh, Arrakis games This was shared with me uh, so Arrakis games got uh, banned from from uh, Twitch, which bans happen. Uh, actually, I think they were banned before, but now it looks like the ban is permanent. I don't know what the deal is with this. Uh, they were banned several times before. Yeah, several times before. Last ban, two days ago, but it looks like it's permanent because it looks like it says, uh, is affiliate false, is partner false, uh, commander root set. But, so the reason I'm bringing this up is Arrakis Games is a long time, like for the entire duration that the game was around, is that he, he's been a streamer. Um, so I'm like, what the heck happened that he keeps, first off, he keeps getting banned. And second off, like, Twitch is just banning a lot of people. They're just like, you know, the Dr. Disrespect drama, if you guys don't know, there was this big streamer that like, one of the biggest top 10, maybe top five streamers on Twitch uh, just got banned. Just like, boom, we're not gonna say anything about why it got banned. Everyone was like wondering, why did this guy get banned? He's one of the biggest streamers, like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. He got banned. And uh, yeah, Twitch is cracking down. They even sent like threats to a lot of the big channels. They're like, if you do, do don't step over the line because you will get banned and we don't care. Uh, so anyway, he started streaming on YouTube. I'm going to give you guys, uh, this is Arrakis Games. If you guys want to see, he just started streaming on YouTube. I don't know if he cared that much, but I'm curious like what he did to get banned though, right? I don't think he even knows that I know who he is or that I'm aware of him, but I do know that he has been hustling and promoting he, he's not a, I don't think he does much English content I think it's all Russian if I remember if well I'm looking at the screen like yeah I think it's all Russian um but anyway I just thought it'd be interesting to bring to you guys attention I don't know because there's been a lot of crackdowns on uh twitch streamers lately like especially for like if we get clipped and we're not using uh royalty free content uh or not not using things that we have uh rights to um then it could get flagged, right? So anyway, it's just uh, like they they mute the vods, but it's just been it's just been a thing. But anyway, it looks like he just started streaming on YouTube. But yeah, yeah Summoners War community is not uh, they're they're cracking down on everyone, not just uh, not just the big ones, right? Uh, what else do we have here? Hall of Heroes is coming. Let's take a look at some of the Hall of Heroes choices we have. Of course, we had to do the drama, right? Of course we had to do the drama. I just, I, I kind of feel like I'm in the like, even though we don't speak the same language natively, I'm like, he has been a streamer and YouTuber for years. Like, the same amount of time that I've been doing it, right? So I kind of feel like we're kindred spirits or something. And then if he gets banned four times, I'm like, man, I should have got banned so many times because you know I go crazy. I'm like, just say whatever's on my mind. Uh, anyway, Hall of Heroes is coming. It is looking like it's going to be a light Hall of Heroes. Let's take a look at what the um, what the previous Hall of Heroes were, so we could see. Every ads, 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 ads. I hate ads. You guys are like bagel. You just showed an ad on this video. Shh, not those. Those are good. <laughs> those are good ads. Uh, so light Hall of Heroes. Here are some of the previous ones we had. They have not been really, aside from the annual Hall of Heroes, they have not really been doing any 
repeats of previous Hall of Heroes. However, I mean, they did say that they wanted to do repeats of previous Hall of Heroes at some point. They just still haven't been. So a lot of people are like, oh, maybe they're going to do Brig because Brig is relevant in the Steel Fortress now. Be nice to have Brig Hall of Heroes. But Brig was already a Hall of Heroes, right? So unless they start bringing back old Hall of Heroes, probably not going to happen. So we had the, uh, just, the, just as a recap, we had the Light Succubus, we had the Light Sylph, uh, we had the Light Ninja. We had again the Light Pirate Captain right there. We had, and who was like, who, that choose your Holly Heroes or Light Pirate Captain was one people like, I don't want to choose that. <laughs> we don't need that for anything. And now we kind of need it for, th there's other units. You don't have to build that only. Uh, Light Death Knight is another one we already had. Succubus, uh, Light Puree, uh, Light Brownie Magician, Light Undyne. Light so I, some of these again. I'm, I'm. I know some of these look like it was repeated, but it was only repeated for the choose your own, like the annual Hall of Heroes uh, anniversary. Choose your own. Uh, <laughs> choose your own. Not choose. Choose anniversary. Choose the previous Hall of Heroes anniversary kind of thing. Uh, light Assassin. We have Light Phantom Thief. All these things. Again, the Light Pirate Captain was uh, came again. Light Kung Fu Girl. Uh, what else do we have? Light Chakram. Uh, light Death Knight, which is just a repeat of the anniversary thing. Light Joker, another Light Chakram. And why is the Light Chakram there too? Why was the Light Chakram? Why does it say this twice? I don't know why it says this twice. That's weird. That wasn't a Hall of Heroes twice, was it? Was that a mistake or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Light Jacqueline. I don't remember that being a Hall of Heroes twice. Uh, light Rakshasa. Light Puree, again, from the, the uh, Anniversary Hall of Heroes. Uh, so I just thought we would take a look at that, and we would take a look at... Let's take a look at some of the units that I think it may be. Uh, remember, they, they generally choose to not do things that are have three-star counterparts, right? So, like, Iona, probably not going to be Iona because it has three-star counterparts. That's just how it's always been. Uh, so light nine tail fox. I think this is this is what I'm calling it. I'm calling I'm calling light nine tail fox for this Hall of Heroes. I think this is what it's gonna be. Uh, and then we have this was already a Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. This would be pretty. This would be a good Hall of Heroes. She's pretty nice actually. She's pretty nice. It, it's possible. She's pretty nice though. This is already Hall of Heroes. This is already Hall of Heroes. This and this were already. This one was already Hall of Heroes. This has three star counterparts, so no. This has three star counterparts, so no. This was already Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. This would be so toxic for this to be a Hall of Heroes. So toxic. This, I could have sworn this was a Hall of Heroes. I really could have sworn this was a Hall of Heroes. Am I imagining that this was a Hall of Heroes? I must be imagining. I think maybe I just summoned him on several accounts and like at the same period of time, and then I just thought it was a Hall of Heroes after that. Um, but yeah, this was already Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. This would be way too OP to put in a Hall of This would be the most... <laughs> one of the most OP units we could have in the Hall of Heroes. That'd be... Yeah, that'd be pretty gross. This has three star, three star counterparts, are so probably not him. Light BK would be an interesting Hall of Heroes. It's a great Guild War unit, uh, in my opinion. Um, he's got the Confine. This is this is pretty cool. Depletes Attack Age uh, and stuns for one turn. Uh, and then, of course, when, you when it's on cooldown, you cycle turns more. This is the same thing. And then this also has a uh, Speed Lead for Guild War. So uh, BK, Orion, X is a pretty nice uh, Guild War combination, right? So that would be actually be... I mean, that would be a nice... Not that you use him everywhere, but that would be a nice Hall of Heroes unit to get, right? I, I think it's a nice for, like, an, one that may actually happen. So this was already Hall of Heroes and already reused. This would be a really relevant... Because this is a thing in RTA that people are using this Light Mermaid now. When they feel like they're going to get uh, outsped and cleaved and controlled and stuff like that, they are like, oh, I'm going to bring this Light Mermaid. And this is a pretty popular for high level. I've seen people that uh, people that aggressively use the Light Mermaid, like super tanky, 100% resist, and 250 speed on Violent, like Violent Nemesis a lot, uh, using her very heavily in, uh, in RTA, and then deleting the replays because they, uh, they, they don't want people to know that they're using the, uh, the Light Mermaid. But yeah, based on her passive, and now it's a 25% uh, heal, which is the big thing is why, is big, the big difference from now, uh, versus before, but she's still not anything crazy. Like base speed is not anything crazy. Uh, and then we have Iris is another one. I feel I mean Iris used to be a good unit. Iris back in the day before her nerf was like, oh, you know what? She's never gonna be a Hall of Heroes because she's way too OP. But now after the nerf, it's like, 
I feel like she's... <laughs> I feel like she's irrelevant enough to be a Hall of Heroes, right? She would be a good Hall of Heroes, but uh, I feel like she's in the realm now of being a Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. Uh, this is another one people are considering that, like, he may be Hall of Heroes unit. He's kind of fun to use, but he's not super crazy OP. She is OP to the point now that she's not going to be Hall of Heroes. This would have been, like, six months ago, a year ago. This would have been like, oh, yeah, I Ileana would probably be a Hall of Heroes because she's not any good, right? Well, I mean, it's not that she wasn't any good. It's just she's not good enough. She's one of the weaker uh, LD units. Now is a totally different story. Now she can't be a Hall of Heroes because she's way too OP. Uh, that would be broken. This would be also very, very OP for Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. Uh, this has three-star counterparts. This would be OP, too OP for Hall of Heroes. This was already Hall of Heroes. This would be too OP for Hall of Heroes. Uh, she... I think she's a little too OP for Hall of Heroes, right? If I recall correctly. He has three-star counterparts. This is too OP. If you guys... Some of you guys don't know how to use Magnum. He's not going to be Hall of Heroes. He would be too OP for Hall of Heroes. That's, like, one of the best cleave counters in the game. Um, Emily, we already had, we already had a water cannon girl a couple of Hall of Heroes ago, so it's not going to be, uh, her. Fanaka, that would be interesting if they did a Fanaka, because Fanaka's actually pretty cool. Uh, Fanaka and Malite are the, the more relevant, uh, gargoyles, or the better gargoyles in my opinion. That's not going to be a Hall of Heroes. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a Chroma Hall of Heroes, guys. I, you know, I really feel like it's going to be, it's going to be a Chamey. That's my guess, is Chamey. So we'll see. I mean, who knows? It could be it could be several different things. But just giving you guys a little brief recap of the units that it could be for Hall of Heroes. What is the last thing on the list to talk about today? <sighs> another big end of year update. So there's another big end of year update coming. I'm not sure what el what else is going to be in there, but consider. I don't think it's going to be that crazy considering we just had a huge update. Massive, sorry, massive update. So I think this one's gonna be, because usually we have uh, end of year updates. Um, but this one should be not as crazy big in my opinion. I just don't see it. I was talking to Island Grown about it uh, a little bit. And he was like, I wonder, I wonder what is exactly did he say? We don't need to see exactly what he said. But we were talking a little bit about the uh, end of year update. Um, which is, looks like that's probably when they're gonna do the auto farming. Uh, integrate the auto farming. Another two way may be in the update. Right? Well, the, another two-way is going to come anyway, b before the end of the year. And I say end of the year, however, end of the year, there's four months left in the rest of the year. is <laughs> almost over! Thank God! Oh my God. What a year it's been. Almost, guys. We're almost there. Just four more months. We can survive four more months. I have faith. I have faith in us. Oh my God. Um, yeah, but auto farming, and it's looking like it is going to happen, but it's going to be, who knows. It's looking like basically what they're going to do for auto farming, what the, where their head is at, is they're going to have runs going, and then you're going to be able to tinker around with other stuff in the game while you're running dungeons. Like, do different things, like runes and power-ups and whatever. Oh, they're tinkering around, but they're still in the works, they're still in the works. New two-way, not even just the two-way, new two-way uh, dimension, which probably means like we're getting two... We should be getting two new 2As at the same time, right? And then I'm not sure what else is going to be in the next update. But that is all the news that I have for you guys today. I just figure we may as well consolidate it into one video instead of like 9,000 little, <laughs> little videos. Two minutes worth of information. Let's stretch this another 45 minutes, please. Thank you very much. But I just figured there's enough little things here and there. Smash them all into one video. And uh, there you go for that. And also I wanted to talk about like the... No, not that. Like the B12, yeah, the, the dungeon stats too. And I was like, I'm not going to do a whole video just looking at the dungeon being like, here's dungeon stats. Because it's from Reddit, right? I'm like, I'm not going to do a whole video on that. Uh, so I'll just stick it in another video. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited about all the things to come. And you're like, please, no more updates. We just had a massive update. I don't even have teams for Punisher's, Punisher's craft yet. Why are you going to do an update concept? Hold on. It's not gonna it's not gonna be like next week or anything. I'm just saying before like end of the year update kind of thing. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good week and I will see you as always in the next one.